from our officials uh, in China who have done an excellent job led by the ambassador in Beijing and his staff and our acting consul general uh, in Guangdong and uh, consul general in, uh, in Shanghai. Uh, the message I'm getting is that they're now on top of the situation that the Chinese government and our officials there are working closely together. Of course, it didn't help either that one of the Nigerians who was um, asked to be confined and taken to hospital, shown to be positive, uh, or, or rather refused to be tested, uh, well, no, got into the hospital, having been positive, and then wanted to leave after a week. And uh, they tried to restrain uh, uh, him, and, and, and he bit the nurse, the lady nurse, uh, uh, and assaulted the nurse. Uh, of course, this did not help the situation uh, either. So we are on top of the situation. I have to um, express our profound gratitude to the ambassador of China here in Nigeria. He acted immediately and reached uh, the most important uh, elements in the Chinese government hierarchy. Uh, the reaction of the government has been very, very quick. And... Um, and, and so they're now working together as a team. It's unfortunate that the, 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 the government in Guangdong uh, did not reach out early enough to our authorities, our consulates uh, in uh, Guangdong and uh, Shanghai and Beijing. But now that communication has been established and they're now working together as a team, communicating and letting everybody know that these measures are to assure the safety of the Nigerians as well as everybody in China and in particular in uh, Guangdong uh, province where this uh, outbreak uh, originated uh, from. So, um, so this is the, the, the situation, but of course in the world today we are all hostages to, to the social media and, uh, and all kinds of narratives uh, will always be pushed by whoever for whatever uh, reason. Uh, this is why uh, I have prefer preferred to deal with this matter in a systematic way. Um, first of all, with our ambassador here, being in touch with our ambassador in China, our consulate uh, in Guangdong and in uh, you know, uh, Shanghai, and uh, also engaging with individual uh, Nigerians uh, who have been reaching me uh, through um, you know, uh, social media uh, as well, uh, but making sure that, um, that we address the situation in a holistic way and uh, in a systematic way and that the you know, results would be a, a positive one and a win-win uh, for us all. And you know, in this context also, um, I think it's important for us also as a country and as a people to be you know, very measured and also very objective uh, in the way we deal with these kinds of uh, uh, issues. You know, uh, we have a big Chinese company here, uh, CCECC, that has been doing uh, very good work and a lot of uh, business here. And uh, they have sent to us uh, very, very sophisticated equipment, um, some super ventilators that we don't even have at all uh, in, uh, in Nigeria, you know. And the reaction has not always been um, positive. Where there should have been gratitude, uh, there have been some other reactions, uh, uh, inappropriate reactions, uh, I might say. Uh, but, uh, but these are the, 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 the Minister of, of Health said he was astonished at the, the nature, the quality of the equipment that was delivered uh, to us as a, as, a, as a country, you know, and with technicians to come and, uh, and also show us how to, how to use them, equipment that we don't even have in the country at all. And we have to be grateful, and that shows that's a, a, a real act of uh, uh, charity, solidarity, and kindness uh, that we have to and should uh, uh, appreciate. And of course, you know, the Chinese entrepreneur, Jack Ma, you know, we started off this, uh, this uh, uh, pandemic with um, only about 5,000 testing kits. And we know, and you have heard, that 
this is the most important aspect in the fight of the pandemic. It's testing, testing, and testing, and then contact tracing of all those who have been in touch with, um, you know, or contact with anybody uh, that has been, uh, tested, uh, shown symptoms, or tested uh, positive. And, um, you know, the, the, the Jack Ma, uh, with the support of the Chinese government, you know, provided us with 20,000 kits right at the very beginning that enabled us uh, to really hit the ground running uh, in facing down uh, this, uh, this huge uh, pandemic and a huge scare. So I think we have to be uh, very rational and very balanced and, uh, in our assessment, and I'm happy to say that we have uh, reestablished and stabilized the situation together with the Chinese government uh, in, uh, uh, in China. And, uh, and in fact, this morning, our consul general in Shanghai uh, sent me a, a video of the packages that were being given to all the isolated Nigerians uh, in, in Guangzhou. Very extensive, very, um, you know, with a, a lot of uh, goodies inside, you know, showing this goodwill and showing this, uh, uh, this brotherhood and determination to come together and, uh, and fight this, uh, this scourge. So this is uh, what I have to uh, say today. Uh, the uh, Chinese ambassador, we had a meeting before coming out uh, for this uh, press briefing, and he's given me an extensive briefing also from the Chinese uh, government uh, perspective, and, uh, and really nothing uh, has changed uh, on their side. It is uh, the same brotherhood uh, that uh, for them has always existed between our two countries, that they will do everything uh, uh, possible and in their powers uh, to maintain going forward. So thank you very much. Partners, we are good friends. There is nothing change about that. Third, Guangzhou is fighting for the virus. Not any Nigerians, not any Africans, not any foreign nationals, not any Chinese. They are fighting the virus. Why some Nigerian friends at the earliest days feel selected, as the minister the word, he rightly chose it, selected, selected. Let me put it this way. I welcome the extension of the lockdown in FCT. I will not complain about it. Why? The government of Nigeria is protecting me as a resident of Abuja, of FCT. Why the government select FCT, Lagos, Ogun? Is the government of Nigeria discriminating against FCT? I don't think so. The same logic goes in Guangzhou. The, since February 17th, the policy to fighting the disease in Guangzhou has been evolving. And I should say, until yesterday, it has changed 10 times. Why? you have to be precisely attack the virus. So you need some policy change. And on March 21st, the first imported connected case was funded, was reported in Guangzhou. That is a very serious thing. And I should say, since February, if there is any country targeted, the first was an Asian country. I'm not going to name the name, but a good friend of China also, because at that time, the situation in that country is, was terrible. So the first target country was a Northeast Asian country. And then, why recently? Our Nigerian brothers and sisters felt it. And they maybe why we were selected, it is because according to the statistics, 
the African friends, a very vulnerable group in the fight against the disease. The city have to protect them. Let me give you some numbers. You know 56 for FCT and more than that for Lagos. Let me give you some numbers. Until yesterday, all imported cases in Guangzhou were 119. Among those 119, the majority of them were Chinese. Foreign nationals, 26. 26. Among those 26 from Africa, 19. Among those 19 from Nigeria, 9. That is the case. And until as of yesterday, they reported asymptomatic patients, 60. From Africa, 57. And uh, foreign imported, for, uh, foreign imported case related local reporting cases, 14. Uh, that means you, uh, uh, the patient was a close contact of an imported case. Among those 17, those 14 related cases, China, seven. Foreign nationals, seven. Africans, seven. That means all the foreign nationals are from Africa. Among those seven, Nigeria, six. We have to protect all the Nigerians for their health, because according to the statistics, they are most vulnerable. So that is the logic. The city is trying to test everyone for the security, for the safety, healthy of themselves and others. And that is my understanding about the logic why FCT? Why Lagos? The government is protecting me well. The government is not uh, is is not discrimin discriminating me as a as a resident resident here. But I should say, as the minister rightly pointed out, during this process, poor communication or some incidents or some isolated cases, it might happen, and it happened. So after the timely intervention of the minister, of the government, Beijing took it very, very seriously. And during the past days, I think the coordination between Beijing and Guangzhou has been strengthened remarkably. So the effective communication mechanism between the Consulate General, Consulate, Consulate General and the Guangzhou Authority has been set up. And the task force to take care of the patients or to sort out the difficulties for some, not easy to find accommodation or financial uh, problems, it was there. And the authority made it very clear, zero tolerance for discrimination. Any resident, no matter which country you're from, Chinese or foreign nationals, you cannot uh, you do or say in that way. So generally, I think, with joint efforts, the Chinese authorities, authorities from Beijing and Guangzhou 
and with the embassy in Beijing and consulate in Genoa. I believe the legitimate concerns has been addressed and will be get addressed in a smooth way. Take the quarantine. And let me show you an another number. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, and this is in reaction to the reported case of time, may I most respectfully invite the Honorable Minister. Uh, and subsequently, the Chinese government uh, has shown a lot of uh, international solidarity and cooperation uh, going around the world uh, to and, uh, and making that available to the rest of the world. And we've seen.